Hello, 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 this is Caleb with Practical Digital Advice, and today we have another uh, fairly brief DAS tutorial to where I'm going to go over some of the basics of the new uh, NVIDIA iRay. I guess it's not terribly new. Uh, they added it earlier this year. Um, I only just recently started playing with it, so if you've already mastered this, Well, too bad. So I have a fairly simple scene here, and um, the big thing about NVIDIA, the, about the iRay, is you're going to have to rethink your textures, and you're going to have to rethink how you do lighting. And you're going to have to think very seriously about your render times, because NVIDIA, the iRay is a realistic projection renderer, and what that means is is that it's going to always attempt to make the lighting act normally. Uh, Three Delight will bounce the light however you place it. So you can make a lot of different, you have a lot of versatility. You can make the light do whatever it is you want it to do. Iray is going to try and cast shadows and light as it would in reality. So keep that in mind. Keep that in mind of how that's going to change the way things are going to look, the way things are going to be absorbed. So I have two uh, Generation 7 models. Uh, Genesis female 3 and a Genesis, Genesis female or a Genesis male 3 uh, with iRay skin textures which is important because an iRay skin texture or material is different than your 3D Delight so um, you're gonna have to play around and test it and find out what textures work and what textures don't so the way to render something in iRay is go to your render settings which can be reached through your panels or windows panels tabs and then uh, render settings right there and you're gonna go to engine and you're going to select NVIDIA iRay so under your general is your normal uh, your fairly normal stuff your presets uh, where you save your file, things like that. Render mode, you want it under photo reel. Progressive rendering, this is your min update samples, means how many uh, dots, how many specs, how much uh, is going to be required before it updates what it's rendering. The update interval, which is how often is it going to update what it has done in the background. Five seconds is the default, that's fine. Minimum samples is how many samples uh, until it declares itself done because this can technically go on uh, indefinitely. Max samples is the, max, is the max amount of samples until it decides that it's done. I find that 2,000 is more than enough for the vast majority of images. Max time is if you want to set an absolute render time on how long you're going to do it. So that's in seconds, so 60 seconds would be a minute, obviously. Render quality enabled, you want that on, you leave that at 1, leave that at its default. This is saying uh, how you want the alpha to be handled. You play around with that. I haven't played around with it too much. Optimization, you want to leave this where it is. You want it speed because uh, the stuff is very expensive on your CPU and GPU so you want to uh, keep the stuff down if you can. Most renders are going to look just fine without all the doodads turned on. Uh, this I would also leave more or less alone for now. You can start playing with it carefully, but it's much easier 
it's very easy to ruin your renders by messing with these settings. So keep your settings... Uh, this, this is pretty advanced stuff. You can mess with it a little bit, but for now, if you're just starting out, just learning the basics of iRay, leave it alone. Environment's the one you're going to spend the most time with, and this is the one I'm going to spend the most time explaining what all of these mean. So environment mode means dome on, you have dome only, dome and scene, uh, sun and sky, and scene only. So, I'll leave, put dome only. The environment environment map, that is your dome. Okay, the way uh, an eye ray works. is someone takes through a computer takes an image and they do a 360 light map of that time and place so you are using this image this 360 ball to create your lighting that's what it means by environment map so if you place this light it's going to this is the lighting that your scene is going to have with this uh, HDRI map on it so we're going to leave it at the default uh, for now the intensity is how bright you want it draw dome is do you want to have like here in this background do I want the alpha or do I want it to draw the dome for what it has Dome, uh, infinite dome or finite dome means do you want it uh, to act like an infinite space to where it is it's kind of think of it as the difference between a directional light and a spotlight so infinite dome or infinite spear would be a directional light which no matter where where you are in the scene it's always going to be coming from the same direction to where a finite sphere would be a spotlight to where it starts and it stops. Uh, environment lighting resolution, keep it where it is. Environment lighting blur, do you want the light to have some blur to it that's going to increase your render time? It may or may not help. Dome orientation uh, on the x-axis, the y-axis, and the z-axis, that's more important if you have a finite dome. Dome rotation is going to be very important, and this is probably one of the things I like the least about iRay, is because it, the even a spot render can take a very long time uh, testing to see, and there's not, it there's it's very difficult to see how it is you have your dome oriented and what effect that's going to have on uh, your scene because I mean there's ways to to have it projected here on the scene so you can see it, but even still it's difficult to to fully understand how that scene that uh, map is going to affect the lighting on your scene so auto and then you have a uh, ground texture scale which is if you're if you're rendering the ground which I rarely do and then the origin from the ground where are you setting the ground and then draw ground or not draw ground so that's dome only and then scene only is if you're using lights and I highly suggest going to renderosity and getting second circles uh, lights for iRay they are wonderful uh, it's a it's a just a group of lights that have been tailored for iRay they work wonderfully I like them quite a lot you'll load them up and uh, you select the ones that they're, they're put in studio position so if you've seen my three tips for better renders uh, video you've seen some of what uh, goes into lighting a, a studio lighting and he has everything here he has the hair light the backdrop light the backlight low light uh, he has rim lights side lights front lights wonderful stuff scene only is pretty simple environment intensity how bright the lights are going to be lighting blur and then if you want to ground or not uh, we are going to do 
dome and scene i guess i'll do sun and sky to talk about that sun and sky is basically you are creating your own environment map within the program rather than using a map from a site so rather than using uh, something like this you're you're creating your own to where you're telling this is where I want the Sun so that would be your time your day and time and then you have your offset and then you have the Sun intensity and the Sun scale and Sun glow and you are you can add uh, a haze you are custom making the clocks gonna go off you're custom making a map within the engine what you do with that how you want to set that up you're gonna to have to play with that so you can the nice thing about that is that if you're if you're really wanting a scene that happens at dusk or at morning that's going to work much better for you for this render I'm going to do uh, dome and scene and this is what I would suggest you do especially if you're getting started out is a dome and scene with the second circle lighting so that the dome will fill in any color so you're not gonna have real harsh uh, shades you're not gonna have real harsh uh, shadows but you can also have some control on what gets highlighted and what gets lit up for your scene so that's what I would suggest you do uh, and start with and then keep your render times reasonable because this can get very unreasonable on you quite quickly so I'm going to uh, render this out now and so this is my final image and I think you'd say that it turned out pretty good uh, I hope this was helpful like and subscribe like and subscribe this is Caleb from practical digital advice be at peace